we're going to draw another feature line. We're going to go into the Home tab. I'm going to deselect this. Home tab. Create Design Panel. Feature Line drop-down. Create Feature Line. We get our dialog box. For the Name checkbox, we're going to type in CDEF. Now, this is essentially what, what I'm talking about as far as naming it, naming the feature lines in a bulk fashion. Like what, like what if I had, I created a bunch of feature lines for parking lot number one. That's in the northwest corner of, of our property. I could name it parking lot one, and then this next counter will name, name it feature line, you know, parking lot one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, you know, so on and so forth. You can change the next counter if you don't want it to be a number. You can highlight this, click this button, and for the name template, the property fields, you can change this to like a, a style name. You can, do it, you can do it that way. Or you can type in, you know, parking lot. You know, there's a lot of different ways to go about it. Or... The next counter, you have all of these different options. We'll leave it all one, two, three, just for simplicity. We'll cancel out of this. For the style checkbox, we're going to leave it on selected. Let's check and see. Yeah, we got a lot of different styles here, a lot of different feature line styles. We even have a ditch style. Actually, we're going to change this to ditch. I was mistaken on that. We're going to be put, putting this on a particular layer, then click OK. OK, we'll go C, D, E, F. Hopefully you can see this within the, uh, uh, within the stream, but we'll go to the center of C. Oops. It's asking us to specify an elevation. It, see that? It won't let me go forward. I tried to select the center of D, but instead, it's asking me for an elevation or a surface. I'm going to type in 688. 688 is for C. Now you have a known value for a starting elevation. In the following steps, you'll use the transition command to defer entering elevation values at intermediate points along the feature line. Okay. So we'll stretch the feature line to click inside of circle D. And you see we have this little dash line that shows up. You can even see right here what the distance is from C to D. Is it 319.93? The grade right now is at zero. The slope is horizontal. And the elevation is at 688, which is what our C elevation was set to. We're going to type in T for transition. Then we'll stretch to the center of E. Press enter now to accept transition once again. Then we'll move to the center of F. Now after I click F, what elevation do you think that it's going to be set to? At the end of this transition, we're going to select surface. We're going to accept the elevation of 712 for F. Then we'll press enter one time, one more time to exit out of the command. And you see how we have that ditch style that shows up. See this dashed green feature line style? That's the, that's the feature line style. If I go into the information and select instead of ditch, go with uh, crown, see how it changes the look? That's the feature line style. Where are we at? Ditch. There we go. 